My name is Chad Neesmith, and even though you are looking at me through this video, you cannot tell that I'm completely blind. However, I lost my eyesight in my mid-30s. It was a condition that was diagnosed when I was 12 called retinitis pigmentosa, and by the time I was in my 30s, it had claimed every bit of my sight. Now, during that time, I played all sports, but as my vision grew worse, I was unable to play the sports that I love, football, basketball, baseball. When I got into my 30s, I'd been married for a few years, and I was having trouble with depression on the weekends especially. There was nothing that I enjoyed to do, nothing to look forward to. My wife came to me one day, Patricia, and said, you've got to do something. And I said, well, what would that be? I said, I don't want to sit in a tree stand, and I don't think anybody else wants me to either. And I don't think fishing is a good idea, because that bores me to death. She came up with the idea to play golf. And um, after talking with her back and forth, I told her I would give it one hour. I'd give it somebody a chance to teach me how to play the game of golf. She found an instructor, Andy Church, and he was at our local golf course. He had never taught a blind golfer, and I told him you had one hour to convince me that I could play this game. And he said by the end of the hour, he would have convinced me of that. He did. And after that, golf became a passion. It became a love of mine. Uh, I could not think of a better way to spend a day than to hit a bucket of balls. Well, after a few years of hard work, dedication to the game, fighting through the emotions of the game uh, that anybody that's played golf knows about, um, Andy Church said that I should try to play uh, at a national level. In 2016, I was able to qualify for the national tournament. So in my first tournament, my hopes were just to go and compete, be around other blind people for the first time in my life, and to have a good time. Not only did that all occur, but I was also able to win the national title. Then, because of my success in Florida, I was invited to compete in the Irish Open. This was my first time to travel anywhere outside of the United States, out of my comfort zone. Uh, in Ireland, I was also able to win the title there. About a month ago, when this video was made, October 2017, I was able to successfully defend my national title, and now I'm a two-time national champion. What this video is about is not about my successes, but what we want to try to offer moving forward, and we need your help. Me and my wife, my mom Brenda, and my father Reed started AVID, and it stands for A Vision in Darkness. It's an organization that we have tried to set up and establish so that we can take the game of golf to blind kids all across the United States. When I traveled abroad and we looked at what the programs are over there, the United States is way behind in teaching blind children golf. Over across the United, everywhere else in the world, they're way ahead of us. So we've, just, we've set this up and going to start with the Tennessee School for the Blind and we're going to set up a national golf training academy, first one in the United States, to where we can start with kids all over the country and get exposure to blind golf and then get these kids to swing it at young, young ages because I wished I would have had golf when I was 9 or 10 years old. But again, it saved my life because depression is awful for anybody. But when you're blind and you struggle with any kind of other disability to, on top of the physicalness of not being able to see, such as anxiety and depression, something has to help you. Now again, God is a big player in that. But also, people are put in your path and items are put in your path to help you. Golf can do that for these kids. But we need your help. We can't do this without your help. So what we're asking for is pretty simple. Get this YouTube video to all your friends. Send it around, let everybody get a look at it because we want to set up kids playing against other kids who are blind in tournaments around the country as they're teenagers and preteens. We need coaches. You don't have to know anything about golf to be a coach, but these kids can't play blind golf without their coaches. It's a team sport. We need sponsors. We need clubs. We need help from the other states and the other blind schools. But this is not going to be just locally, but it's going to start here and we hope to take it elsewhere. But again, we need your help. And the people have helped me along the way. My wife, again, was my first to get me into golf. Andy Church was my first instructor. When he had to move away due to family and job, I had to get a second instructor. His name's Stuart Shearing, and he has been a vital part, along with Andy, in helping me get to my game to where it is today. I've also, along the way, had to hire many different people to help me to go hit balls, because there's no way I can do it on my own. And Dylan Kelly has been one of the ones that's been with me for the last two years and the two first titles that I've earned on the United States Blind Golf Tour. Hopefully it's going to be just 
two of many. I also want to travel around the world and help develop these programs elsewhere as, as well. But in the United States, we've got to start. We've got to get these kids playing golf, not just to keep blind golf going, but to help them feel better about who they are. So, right now, you can reach me at blindgolfer68 at gmail.com. Our website, avidgolf.org, is under construction at the time this was made and will be up soon. We need anything that you feel you can help with. You don't have to be living in the Nashville area to help us because we want to spread this again through many, many states. So it might not be time that you can help right now, but in a few months, maybe you can help in your state where your blind school is as we start to take the program of golf across the country. Again, spread this to everybody. Send it to everybody you can think of because you never know who will be the person that can help us take blind golf to the plateau it deserves.